Welcome to It's a Lifestyle with me, Melissa, and I'm so glad you're back on my channel because I did it again. I switched up my guest bathroom um, because I didn't want the coastal theme that was in it before. Well, right before Christmas, I put all of my coastal theme um, bathroom decorations into my master bedroom, and after I put all my Christmas stuff away, I was like, I don't want to switch that back. So. I didn't go out and buy a whole bunch of new things. I actually repurposed things that I had in different areas of my house or packed away. I bought a couple of new things and throughout my video, I'll go ahead and tell you how much it cost, where I got it, and also the items that I repurposed. Um, so I can't wait to show you, but I went with the whole um, boho farmhouse inspired theme and I hope that you enjoy it. Give a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and that bell to notify you. On my channel, for those of you who do not know, you're gonna continue to get all the home decor tips, tricks, how I repurpose, how you can repurpose all of your old stuff and make them feel new again throughout your whole house, as well as all the girly stuff that us moms and women like. Makeup, reviews, all that kinds of stuff. Anyways, all the tips, tricks of aging and aging gracefully. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoy this video. God bless, bye. So here's a tip that when you have a small bathroom, you can opt for curtains that you would buy for your um, windows within the house, you know, your drapery. Because they come longer you can actually extend your shower curtain rod higher towards the ceiling, making the appearance of your bathroom feel much larger. Now, with this trick, I also have to hang two shirt and cap curtain rods, as you can see, because the one that is behind these ones is the plastic shirt, um, the plastic shower curtain rod. Um, that you need in order to for your curtains not to get wet or the water to splash out. That's just a little tip. And these are navy blue tassels, navy blue trimming with just a white cotton um, material with silver big ring embellishments. And here's a little trick. Don't think that those ends of your shower curtain can't unscrew because they can't. That's how I was able to fit the curtain hook through the pole. And these actually I bought from Ross and they were $14.99 for two panels. So I really think I scored on that. Now if you're wondering where you can get these fancy curtain rods, which is the same one I had in the previous um, video with my coastal theme and I bought that new then. These are actually sold at Marshalls is where I found mine or TJ Maxx and mine's cost me $14.99. Next you're going to see I have this little um, book right here, 1001 Pearls of Bible Wisdom. It's kind of just like little sayings. I don't know, it's kind of cool, but it's on the edge of where my um, toilet is and right here I repurposed a basket that I had and right here for those of you who remember some of my home decor hauls I got this from a Goodwill in another city which was $3.99 this is actually a fake succulent and it's perfect for the bathroom I repurposed this from another haul that I bought from I believe I always keep the tags on there, Marshalls $4.99, but I bought this a while ago. So I'm just repurposing it here in the bathroom because I feel like it kind of goes with the whole theme. Now this, I actually am repurposing. I use these for a bridal shower. It says, hello, sunshine. But again, it goes with the theme and it kind of hides my little glade. Make your bathroom smell good thing right there. And I think I got this wire basket at a thrift store too as well. Um, I just have a blue towel, which is technically it's sold in the, 
sold in the kitchen for kitchens, but um, I use it for right here in the bathroom. Um, the next thing is, this is I'm um, repurposing from my coastal bathroom, and it's just the blue, you know, hand soap, vintage and nautical. It's kind of cute because it still has that rustic boho feel because of, you know, it being coastal still, and this little rope. And you always want a candle. It helps set the ambiance of a spa-like atmosphere. And actually, I bought this new for here particularly, and I found it at Marshall's. And this right here, um, I was gifted, and I'm going ahead and using the candle to put on top of it because it was a gift from my mother-in-law, and I want to make sure that I do at least, you know, use it. Um, next, I just have this. This was from my coastal theme. It's just. Um, room spray ocean breeze you always want to have something like that for your guests and my dried baby breath and little dried flowers there's no water in it because obviously it's supposed to be a dried arrangement and i like that because it helps pull in that whole boho and right in front of my toilet seat is um this flower pot or plant pot that I got for $8.99 at Ross. This is not new, it's just repurposed. I actually had a plant in there and it died. So I figured why not put it in here and then all of these kitchen towels, my grandma actually gifted them to me and I thought it pulled the blues in. So I just feathered or fanned them in this plant bowl so you guys you could even put toilet paper and everything like that this right here actually pulls in the whole boho feel too and this is actually a necklace I bought for a dollar fifty from a local um, flea market in my nearest city near me and I just thought that that kind of pulled it all together I just love this gold embellishment it kind of looks like a peacock feather and right above it is my picture of the of gold, blues, reds, and actually this is a painting that's called The Kiss. Anyone who really knows me knows that that's my favorite painting. And one day maybe I would be able to afford an authentic painting just like this. <laughs> 